Okay, question two. The number pattern below follows a rule. 3, 15, 75, 375. Which number pattern below follows the same rule? All right, so my first thing, I know I can have addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. My numbers are going up. I know it must be one of these, right? I don't, I can't get bigger numbers with subtraction and division. So, 3 to 15. Well, right away, I can check 3 plus blank equals 15. It would be 12. 15 plus 12 is not 75, so it is not addition. Multiplication. I'm thinking 3 times blank is 15. The answer is 5. So I think the rule is times 5, and I'm going to double check 15 times 5. Well, 15 times 5, 5 times 10 is 50, 5 times 5 is 25, 50 and 25 is 75, right? I just split this up in my mind into 10 plus 5, and I multiplied both by 5. 5 times 10 was 50, 5 times 5 was 25, and I got 75 when I added this. So it looks like times 5 is my rule, multiply by 5, and then if I checked 75 times 5, I would also get 375. This is 25, my partial products. 5 times 70 is 350, and when I add this, I get 375. So my rule, right, is multiply by 5. Right, so this is kind of like a hidden question, almost. What is the rule, right? If you don't figure out what the rule is, you can't know which one follows the rule. So looking down here, I'm going to check, do these follow the rule multiplied by 5? 1 times 5 is not 3, so that's wrong. 6, well, these go down. That can't be multiply. These go, both go up. 5 times 5 is 25. 25, yep, this looks like it, right? 25 times 5 is 125. 125 times 5. So I think this is my answer, but I'm going to double check. 6 times 5 is 30. This is not correct. I've got my answer. So don't forget on this one, if it asks if it follows, which one follows the same rule, you've got to use this like hidden question step of figuring out what the rule is. What is the rule for the number pattern, or for the pattern shown below? My numbers are going up. It cannot be subtraction or division, right? So I can automatically eliminate these answers. Great test taking strategy. Now I've only got two options. First one, multiply by 3. Just looking at this, I know that if I multiply by 3, 55 times 3 is way bigger than 58, right? Or I could even double check, of course. Uh, 5 times 5 is 25, and 5 times 50 is 250. I would get 275. So it's not multiply by 3. The rule is add 3. 55 plus 3 is 58. 58 plus 3 is 61. 61 plus 3 is 64. All right, the relationship between dogs and treats is described below. One dog get, means 7 treats needed. Two dogs equals 14 treats needed. Three dogs equals 21 treats needed. If the pattern continues, how many dogs would be for 49 treats? So right away... I, if I have information like this, I like to make a table. It's like T-chart kind of, I guess. Well, maybe not a T, but it's a chart, a table. One dog, seven treats. And I would label this just so I can easily see. Two dogs, 14 treats. Three dogs, 21 treats. And I can start thinking, what's my rule? What's my rule to go from dog to treat? What's the pattern here? Well, one plus six would make, give me seven. Two plus six would give me eight, so it's not plus six. Um, one times seven gives me seven. Two times seven gives me 14. Three times seven is 21. So I think my rule is multiply by seven. But if they give me 49 treats, Right? That's, this is to go from dogs to treats, right? from this side to this side. I want to go this way, which is the inverse. 
So for 49 treats, I can do 49 divided by blank. Actually, sorry, 49 divided by 7, and it would be 7. Right? And if I filled out the rest of this chart, I would see four dogs would get 28, five dogs would get 35, six dogs would get 42, so seven dogs. And this is a really important step that we need to be doing for our state test. We need to be writing the number and the unit, right? It's not seven unicorns, it's not seven... Um, Blankets, it's seven dogs, and we like to put a box around it. Use the rule, multiply by 20 to continue the pattern. Three times 20 is 60, four times 20 is 80, five times 20 is 100, six times 20, well, I know six times two is 12, so six times 20 is 10 times greater, or 120, and that's my answer. All right, last question. The rule for the repeating pattern is 3625. So right away, or well, let me read the question. 3625, write the next three numbers in the pattern, then tell what will be the 19th number in the pattern. Explain. So 3625, 3625. In the first position, I have a three. In the second position, I have a six. In the third position, I have a two. And in the fourth position, I have a five. So I've got my pattern that repeats here. I know what is in each position. Three, six, two, five, three, six, two, five, three. Okay? Three, six, two, five, three, six, two, five. The nineteenth number. Well, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could write out ten more spaces to figure it out. That's a fine strategy. It's not really the strategy that we want to be using, but if that works best for you, that's good. It just doesn't, it's not very helpful because it, it, we're more prone to make mistakes. And if they ask for the 154th number in the pattern, you're going to be drawing all day. Instead, we know there are four things in the pattern that repeat. Four positions, one, two, three, four. So we divide four into the number we want to know, the position we want to know. So 19, 19 divided by four. To do this, I skip count by fours until I get close to 19 without going past it, or I can go past it and cross out. 20 is too far. So this is four times one, four times two, four times three, four times four is the fact I'm using. Four times four is 16, which I have here. I subtract and I get a remainder of three. Four remainder three. Now, we have to really understand what this um, divisor, sorry, what the quotient and the remainder are really telling us. The four tells us you went four times through the pattern to get to the 19th position. Three, six, two, five, three, six, two, five, three, six, two, five, three, six, two, five. And then you have three positions left over. So the 19th position would be the third position, sorry, yeah, the third position. The remainder, three, tells you to use the number from the third position. So the 19th number will be two. Okay. And if you want to double check, you could also go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right. Happy studying.